I mean, I, I, that's probably one of the most insane games that I, I've ever been a part of. I, I will never forget that. That is one of the craziest things. One of the wildest games I've been a part of. Two outs and West was on, and then they got down to 0-2 with Casey at bat. I mean, it was a huge situation. Obviously, nobody wants to go home at that point, especially you know at our home at our home field. There was probably a brief second where everybody thought the season was over, so everybody you know was kind of perked up and interested in the in the seeing what was happening. And I, I was just playing catch down in the bullpen, and because um, because Rick had already told me if if we tied, I was going to come in to pitch. You know, just because I, I had had my catching gear on just just in case. So we had to go back out there, and really, the only you said the only people that knew were Casey and Medina, their catcher. You can go back and I went back and looked at the replay immediately after the game was over, which was four hours later or whatever. But I went back and looked at it, and you know, you could tell that Casey knew right away, and their catcher did too, because he was the only one not celebrating. You know, I saw that I was sitting on the front step or standing on the front step, and you know, I saw the ground. You know, I saw the ground ball go to middle stat, and you know, thought hopefully, you know, maybe some wet grass, maybe maybe you know, short hops it, and you know, we 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 uh, you know, we reach on an air or something. But uh, you know, he made the play, and you know, they stormed the field, and you know, just like pretty much everyone else in the stadium, except for uh, except for Medina and Turgeon, uh, you know, thought the uh, thought the game was over, and. You know, then I see Joe walking out to the mound, and you know, I didn't know what was going on. I, you know, I didn't hear anything. So, none of us in the bullpen knew what happened. Like we didn't, we didn't hear the umpire scream balk or anything. Um, we saw them run out to the field and start celebrating. And I honestly walked back to the walked back to the bench in the back of the bullpen to pick up my sweatshirt and just to start that walk back to the dugout and thought that we just lost the championship, but. And then all of a sudden I turn around and I see Joe, the home plate umpire, like waving his arms and, and start walking out to the mound and I see everyone kind of freeze their celebration. And I'm like, and I, at first I thought it was catcher's interference. That's what I thought he called. Um, but as soon as I saw Casey coming back to the box and then moving west over to third, I knew it was a balk. And I was like, well, we get, we get another chance. We're not done yet. And I was sitting on the bench and I saw Casey hit the ground ball and I just kind of put my head down. And right when I heard... I heard their other the other team screaming and cheering, so I, I started to take my catching gear off. And I just had my head down because I was I was pretty upset. And then somebody ran up to me. I don't even remember who it was, but they ran up to me. They're like, "They he balked, he balked, he balked, he balked." Casey got another shot. I was literally thinking to myself, I was like, "Yeah, I mean, we're so, we're gonna win. We're we're gonna win. We're supposed to win." Still, even at that point, you know, uh, you know, Casey's Casey's still got a, a, a 0-2 count against uh, you know one of the better relievers in the league. So you know, you're still you're still kind of on the edge of your seat. But um, yeah, man, that, that that kid came up so huge for us uh, in the postseason. Really, just you know, really since we picked him up, I mean, he was uh, uh, just such a huge part. And you know, it was uh, it was because he, he's such a great guy, and and uh, you know, he's he's, he's He's a good ball player, and, and so it was, it was really exciting. Uh, it really exciting for the team, and, and I'm sure it was really exciting for him to uh, to come through in that situation. Casey having that at bat and being able to hit that ball in the left center, and it was it was it was a tough angle for me to see the ball because I can't see it. I can't see it um, the way that the angle of the ball where it's going to land, and I'm I'm thinking the center fielder is probably going to catch that ball, and that's going to be our season. But luckily, it landed, and and then. Three hours later, we were still playing. You know, once he called that that balk, um, and, and we ended up tying it. I think I don't think there was any way we were going to lose that game and or lose the final series. I think we just pulled it together and did everything we could to to get to Game Five. And um, if we got to that point, I, I don't think we were we were going to go home without being champions. Two. And Rome lines it down the right field line. That's down for a base.
Mason rolling towards the corner. Casey Turgeon on his way to third. Brigantano open the ball. Turgeon's going to be waved around. The way they throw to the plate. Not in time. Turgeon scores. And the goal eyes win it four to three. David Rome extends the goal eyes season with an RBI double to the right field line. And the goal eyes win the greatest game in American Association history. Four to three and 17 innings. The Gold Eyes live for another day. They have forced a game five in the American Association Championship Series. Coolest baseball experience in my entire life. And they never gave up on me. They could have just said, you know what, nah, it's over. They were cheering me on, they helped me through it, and um, I got to live another day.